find that's the main reason that people rent is they are not sure what they're going to do so if you buy smart then you don't necessarily have to worry about renting paying somebody else's mortgage because you're not sure if you can face the future um, now if you're renting you're going to be paying usually at least 10 percent more than a mortgage payment on a house and you're going to be putting a lot more down than what we can currently work out in purchasing a home. If you purchase a home and you purchase it in good condition, most of the time the seller is going to do the repairs for you before you get into the property and to reach your expectations as well as they're going to go ahead and do um, a pay. Oftentimes they're going to pay your closing costs. Um, so you actually put down the earnest money but it comes back to you the day of closing or you get a portion of it the day of closing. So usually, typically, you're actually making um, lesser payments per month and you're putting less of an upfront investment into it in today's market. Um, so I always see it as buying is, is a better option if you're going to buy smart. Um, now, selling versus renting, if you're selling a home and or you have a home and you're looking at the market you need to look and see if after your um, you need to have an, a realtor come out and tell you you know what what your costs should be and also find out where you are if you're competitive with the market hopefully you have that 12 percent and hopefully your your house has stayed um, solid um, in the pricing and um, thankfully we have a pretty good market here it doesn't usually have heavy dips or, or um, anything that goes really, really big either direction. It doesn't usually gain in value very fast, but it doesn't usually lose in value either because we have a very conservative market and conservative lending processes in, in Oklahoma. So um, usually that keeps your um, property maintaining value or not losing too much value and not, on the other hand, not gaining a lot. Um, so you have you have you look at the property you look at the um the market see what you're competing with you don't want to be overpricing your home in order to make money you want to you want to be competitive so you competitively price your home and then you look at that number and you say okay at this number if i take away the the closing costs or if they go down in price a little bit Am I going to be okay with that? Is that going to work? Or should I find out if I should rent my home? And then you make a decision. Um, sellers should always make decisions based off of the bottom line um, because at the end of the day, that house is going to be in somebody else's possession, so it's not about the house anymore. It's about the bottom line. It's about preparing the house for market. It's about finding the right price and, um, and just being smart about it. So buying versus renting, basically be smart. Um, get all the data. Find out what you're up against. Find out where your market is. You want to work with a realtor because they are the ones who are buying and selling daily. Um, you might have bought and sold a year, three years ago. Things are always changing and you're, you're not at the top of your craft like a realtor would be because this is our, this is our job. Um, so contact your realtor, talk to them about what is important, what you're trying to do, and let them come up with scenarios and come up with an action plan to work with you. Okay, this is Katherine Wright. For more information about me or to contact me to come out and, and talk with you more specifically, it's www.law.